Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share about my all-time favorite bra product. It's the NYX Lift and Snatch. I actually have a video of me using this in the color Ash Brown. I'll link that video here if you guys want to check that out. But I recently switched over to the color Taupe. If you have lighter brows and lighter features like I do, then the color Ash Brown is a little bit too dark and can be a little bit too harsh. I guess it depends on the look that you're going for. And it can be very intense, especially if you're a beginner. So I recently tried the color or taupe and have really come to love it so I wanted to share about it in today's video and how I use it I have both the shades taupe and cool ash brown I'll show you guys swatches in a little bit but what they are is felt tipped eyebrow pens so they're not like your typical pencil or a shadow or cream product or anything like that it's very similar to eyeliner but the felt tips are very soft they're not stiff whatsoever here are the shades taupe and cool ash brown swatched side by side the shade taupe is a true taupe in my opinion and cool ash brown compared to taupe it does have a lot more warmth to it but you can see that it has these brown undertones so when i had darker hair slightly darker hair and i wanted more of a bolder brow this was perfect you guys will see in that video but right now i'm loving this color right here so if you want a lighter color I would definitely recommend trying taupe as well as for technique it's essentially the same to what it was in that video there are a few things that i do a little bit differently i did recently laminate my brows a few weeks ago so they still have a bit of hold to them doesn't look like it yet because i haven't brushed them up yet but usually my brows stick away from my skin laminating sticks them onto the skin and keeps them in place very similar to what a brow gel would do but to start i always brush my brow hairs upward I just prefer this look you can brush them in whatever dire direction you want I did want to mention that I do store my pen downward especially for the color taupe if I store it upright a lot of the color goes down and then it takes a little bit of effort to bring that color to the tip so I just store it down like this with my eyebrow brushes I'm gonna start off with this eyebrow here what I usually do is I create an outline on the bottom. In my previous video, I created an outline on the bottom and the top. I no longer create an outline on the top because I feel like it's a lot more harsh and rigid. It's personal preference. Some people like the outline look, some people don't. You can always soften it by brushing it out. But I do still create an outline on the bottom because it creates a very clean, defined brow look. So you don't have like all these hairs all over the place it's just a very clean almost like the concealer hack just makes for a very clean look so i'll start off at the tip of the brow and i like to place this one a little bit higher than where my brow hairs start because this eyebrow is a little bit higher this one's a little bit lower so i try to even them out by creating a line on the bottom that is symmetrical on both sides so I don't know if you guys can tell, but I actually have a few eyebrow hairs down here. I don't go all the way down there. I kind of lift it a little bit higher because I'm going to make it even with this eyebrow hair. And then just create a very soft, you want to be very light handed when you do this. Especially if you're using a darker color. The taupe is a lot more forgiving in my opinion. But the darker colors can definitely deposit quite a bit of color. And don't be scared if this line is too harsh. We are going to brush it out in the end and soften it up. All right, so I have my outline and I'm going to go ahead and do a symmetrical or try to do a symmetrical outline for this other eye here or the other eyebrow. Something like that. And then I just go in and create hairline strokes and fill it in. You can start at the tail of the brow, the front of the brow, wherever. I'm going to start at the front of the brow and create hair like strokes going upward. And you want to be very, very light handed at the front of the brow because you always want the front of the brow to be lighter and then darken it as you get to the tail. Obviously it's personal preference, but just a recommendation is to keep the front of the brow lighter and not too harsh and then make it darker from the arch to the tail. I won't create hair like strokes throughout the entire brow, only where I feel like I need to fill in. So like right here, and then deepen up the tail a little bit and i love the super fine tip of this because it just makes it so easy to do that and do you see how the color taupe is a perfect match if you want like a taupey brow a true taupe colored brow i'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to this eyebrow here so start at the front I and mean, you can start wherever you want once again i just like to start at the front very very light strokes going upward and then right here I really don't have a lot of hairs but I still like to follow the natural 
brow direction so the hairs kind of go over kind of like a rainbow here at the arch so try to follow the natural direction of your brow hairs as you do this do you guys see how quick and easy that was my brows are all filled filled in and i'm going to go ahead and soften them up because i don't want them to have this harsh line at the bottom so what i like to do is i'll take a spoolie and i will gently soften that line up by brushing it back and forth i don't want to go in too rough because it might just erase that line completely but just go in back and forth soften that line up and then brush those brow hairs upward to put them into place and if you want the front of your brow to be a little bit lighter you can give it a few brushes as well to kind of lighten it up but essentially this is the end result but do you see how that just really helped to kind of soften things up you still have that defined bottom line but it's not as harsh so i'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to this eyebrow and i try to be very gentle in this area here because i don't have any hairs there so if I overdo it, it's just going to remove all of the product. Once I'm done with all of that, if I see that there are still some areas that I want to fill in, then you can go ahead and go back and kind of fill those areas in. But that's essentially the process, what I've been doing lately. I don't outline the top once again. I feel like it just makes for a softer brow. But do you guys see how it gives you that super laminated brow effect? Do keep in mind that my eyebrows have been laminated a few weeks ago. So they are kind of sitting against my skin without a brow gel. They would look a little bit different if I didn't laminate them. They'd look a little bit more fluffy. But this will still give you those laminated results, especially if you use a brow gel. And for brow gel, I have been loving the brow glue from NYX. This little guy right here. This really helps to hold your brows in place. Sometimes the brow hair is still lift away from the skin. So go ahead and apply a little bit of this gently. Don't press down too hard because again, it might remove some of that product. But just brush it through your hairs. And to get the full laminated effect, I like to press it against my skin. So if my brow hairs lift away from my skin throughout the day, I'll literally just go in, press them down, and you're good to go. So this combo right here is just amazing in my opinion. It seemed a lot longer in today's video because I wanted to do more of an in-depth tutorial, but usually it's very quick and easy and this is the end result. I absolutely love it. Here are what the brows look like from a distance. The color taupe is perfect if you want a lighter, more taupey brow. I've always wanted to try the color taupe, but the stock photos, they made it seem so warm tone. So I was like, mm, I don't know if that's gonna work for me, but I'm here to say that I do think that taupe is a beautiful color if you're looking for a lighter colored brow. I'll leave the links to these two products down below. You can get them on Amazon or find them in Ulta. Honestly, so many different places to sell them at this point. But yeah, that kind of concludes my video. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in future videos.